God listens. And he listens to what we say and what we pray. And he says, okay, amen, I got you on board. You want to make some changes in your life. You want to walk with me. Well, okay, this is, this is fantastic. He heard us. And then he begins to tell us about the changes we're going to have to make in order to get to where we say we want to be. Do you know if you're gonna have, if you're gonna follow after God, you have to follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit. It's, it's not a cookie cutter relationship. It is a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and you cannot find it in a book. You know, we like to have step one, step two, step three, step four. And if step four don't work, go back to step one. But I'm telling you, when you walk after God, it's a day-to-day -day walk with God. And it should be. It's fresh and new every morning. You will preach the gospel. Hallelujah. You will not draw back. You will not quit. But you will keep moving. Hallelujah. I believe the anointings and the giftings and the talents that God has placed on the inside of you are going to show up. You just got to press. You just got to, oh my God. Don't let Satan pull you back into the past. You need to look forward to the new. God, what new thing you want to show me? Even though something challenging has happened in your life, but you're still just walking and talking with him, and then there he is, he reveals himself. And the glory of God is all over whatever it is that you were trying to do, wanted to do, started doing, the glory of God appears and you can't help but give him praise. You can't help but give him honor. You can't help but glorify his name.